Hello and welcome to another episode of Rodney Hash. Today we're going to be going over something extra special. We have the 1906 pills that I'm sure everyone's seen and has been talking about. Um, especially if you're on the Reddit or the Facebook group. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it. Well, today Rodney Hash is going to review it. Should you be getting them? What are they good for? What's in them? You know, all that good stuff. I'm actually not going to do what I normally do where I go over the look, taste, smell, and effect. We're all familiar with that. Uh, it's actually a pill. So what I will be going over is my personal testimony. I've tried each and every one of them that is in the Ohio market so far. The only one that is not here is the Bliss and the Midnight. Uh, the Midnight I am very excited for for a lot of reasons. I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of people about it. Uh, to my understanding, there is no CBN in them, so they will not leave you with that groggy in the morning feeling. However, they're really, really good at putting you to sleep. I've seen some personal testimony of people saying that they really, really enjoyed them. So I think when the Ohio market gets those, from my understanding around Thanksgiving time frame, those will really blow up. But today, I'm going to be going over in depth the Boost and the Genius Pills. Um, and I will give you my personal testimony on all of them, but those ones in specific, I'm going to do a little deep dive at the end. So stick around for that. All right, get ready for this. I'm a motivated stoner, made my way up off the corner, now we worldwide taking over, I'm a motivated stoner. So as far as personal testimony goes, would I personally, Rodney Hash, buy these again? Yes. Actually, the G dot dot dot, specifically the genius ones, I've already, as you can see, bought the bigger package. They do have a trial size for all of these, which is really, really nice. I actually threw mine out. I got one of each. I got one of the, what was it, the Go for energy. The G dot dot dot, or Genius in every other state, but Ohio made them change it because Ohio. Surprise. Uh, I've got the Love for intimacy. It actually has a natural Viagra effect to it, which is kind of cool. It works for both males and females. And then it's got the Chill out there in the Ohio market which is relaxing. It's a five to one, just like how the Wana blueberry pomegranate acai gummies are. Uh, so it's like five milligrams THC per gummy and then 25 milligrams of CBD, which is great for all kinds of benefits. Uh, pain, relaxation, calming, and then it's got a bunch of other additives that are all natural for that. It was very, very relaxing. I felt very, as you would, chill. Um, I wasn't super, super baked, but I was very, very relaxed. Uh, the Genius, I've been taking every single day. I take about two or three of them every single day. Uh, well, really two or four, depending on how I'm feeling halfway through the day. I personally deal with ADHD. I cannot focus quite a bit. I took two of these this morning and I, I did great throughout the day. I was able to focus. I was able to maintain conversations. I was able to hone in on the things I needed to hone in on and be able to ignore the problems that would normally distract me which any of you that have ADHD know that's freaking mind-blowing. So uh, the reason that it works so well is because it is, first off, it's a pill. It is not a gummy. It is not a capsule. It is nothing like that. It is the only one on the market that is an actual pill. And when I say that, I mean like it is a emulsified pill. So those of you who have issues with most edibles in general, and I'll give you a little bit closer up on this later, but most of you that have problems with edibles have a gut biome issue where you have an enzyme that is just not present, and that's myself. So most edibles, unless they're nano emulsified, which certified cultivators, and I believe some of one of Origins in the Ohio marketplace does have nano emulsified gummies, and some cultivators are coming more online with them. The quick release Buckeye Relief uh, Wana gummies, or the Wana gummies that are across the nation that are the quick release, are also nano emulsified. So those would be good for those people like myself that, you know, you have like. 30, 40 milligrams of an edible and your friend next to you has 10 of almost the same edible and they're fried, they're all like, oh, and you're over there like, man, do you guys want to vape? I'd really like the vape because I'm feeling some pain and these edibles aren't doing anything for me. But having them emulsified does fix that issue. So again, pills, get over that. Um, 
that is also a nice thing about it is normally the pharmaceutical industry is taking advantage of us and the, the medical marijuana industry and taking all of our medicines and trying to rep rep replicate them and try and make them into something that they are not, like Sativex or Epidiolex or other things of that nature that are trying to simulate CBD but change the molecule and then put a patent on it and market it. Whereas this time, 1906 actually took the time to use their technology and make an edible into a pill form. So it's really cool. I like it. I like what they're doing. I like the concept. Uh, like I said, the genius, I've been taking it every single day. Uh, I have been taking the loved ones too, whenever, you know, those things do happen. And again, I do highly recommend them. I take two. They're just, even if it's not for that specific purpose, for intimacy it's really nice to relax or if you have ptsd because there's the uh what was it a ganda root or something along those lines and if you guys want me to do a deep dive on those or the go or the chill or anything like that like which i'm doing at the end for the uh, genius pills by all means let me know let me know in the comments below if you like this give me a like subscribe whatever it is that i'm filing this on um let me know what you guys think because this is important so Genius, do I recommend? Absolutely. Love, do I recommend for intimacy? Absolutely. But I also recommend it for PTSD symptoms because sometimes it's hard and you get that kind of disconnect feeling and things like that. And it's really hard to associate with people. That one or the chill would be really good for that. Uh, again, like I said, I really liked the chill. It was very relaxing. It didn't get super baked. Uh, the go, I definitely felt energized, but... <laughs> I don't need no more energy because I'm already uh, pretty high strung as it is. If any of you know me outside of here, you know, I, I don't sit down. This is me sitting down. This is the most I sit down or if I'm a bus scooter. As far as my deep dive on the G dot 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 genius pills, which as I said, I did do a good little bit of research on this and I really do like it and I definitely will be taking these again probably on my regular daily regimen. I think these are going to help me in my everyday life. Um, 10 out of 10 does recommend, and it's not very often that I say that. Um, so the first ingredient that they listed on their website, which I'll probably show it somewhere over here, um, the Rodolia root. It's a uh, stimulant to your... Basically, it's a stimulant to your adrenal system. It kind of awakens you, alerts you... Uh, it's found in a lot of neurotropics. Um, it's a really good one. I definitely highly recommend looking into this. It's safe for long-term use. Uh, it doesn't really interact with any other medications as far as people have studied. Um, it's really good for a bunch of different things. It's, it helps you focus. It helps you be more alert. It helps you be more oriented, uh, as most neurotropics do. So the next one that I found was Bacopa, which again, they show it right here on their website. Um, appreciate them for the graphics. Those are really cool. And I like how their website is all very easy to understand. If you guys want to do any deep dives yourselves, it's all right there and you can Google it. And like I said, it's most of these things are all natural organic products that are pretty well widely researched and pretty safe. It's kind of cool. Um, there was some news article that I had seen or that someone had brought up on one of the Facebook groups that there was uh, something in the loved ones that are, or love or the midnight that, that potentially wasn't safe for people's liver long term, which the company, again, being very new, almost immediately changed the entire recipe, even though there really was very, 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 very few cases of any issues that had happened. And they still changed the recipe because they still wanted to produce the best, safest quality product out there, and I really, really like that. Uh, so the Bacopa plant. It's actually, oddly enough, I was Googling it, it's pretty commonly used in most aquariums, which is like, wait, what? But yeah, so again, a lot of the things are Western medicine, or Eastern medicine, whether than Western medicine, or those more holistic approaches, but they're again, pretty widely studied. Uh, so they did a study on elderly patients. They did a double blind placebos uh, thing. I've got two slides here actually. It was pretty cool because this is like a full on NIH research document 
Um, and as you can see the conclusion, it, it literally says, I, I'll highlight it here, it shows that it has potential for safely enhancing cognitive performance, performance even though patients are aging. That's pretty big actually, because that's something that safely showing that we can help cognitive fun function over time, especially as pe people are aging, that's not exactly something we have a lot of if you don't know anything about Alzheimer's which is something that I'm definitely going to be doing a deep dive into for all of you guys here because that's one that, again, touches my heart very near and dear. I've had a lot of family members pass away that have had it, so again, why I enjoy having things like neurotropics because this is one of those potential, not necessarily going to guaranteed prevent it, but it will help to long-term, at very least, slow it down, which sometimes it's all we can do. So, as far as... The next ingredient, we have caffeine. We all are very familiar with caffeine. However, what's the dosage in this? It's only about 20 milligrams per pill, which my Mr. Pib drink has about like 66 milligrams of caffeine for the whole 20 ounce bottle. So it's about a third of that. That's not that much, but it's just enough to kind of give that little bit of an edge, especially being in a metabolized pill form. Uh, they also combine it with, what is this, the theobromine, which I was doing a little bit more Googling into that. Also, it's very common in pre-workouts. Uh, most commonly, it's combined with caffeine to give you that little extra energy oomph kick in your step, just like most of us do need. Uh, it's also found in cocoa beans or chocolate pretty often, often so awful cool little fun fact. Again very natural ingredients that these guys are all using. I really like that. And these are all scientifically proven to do one thing or another, which is generally cognitive function, performance enhancement. Uh, the next thing is a kind of a weird one, but it kind of makes sense going with a lot of the other things where some people may have digestive issues and even then, just an extra little bonus. Uh, galen, galen gall, something like that. It's a very widely used medical herb. Uh, it's really commonly compared to ginger. Uh, it's really good for your gut biome. So, kind of cool. And again, ginger also helps to waken you, just like with ginger tea. Uh, so the next thing I've got is L-thionine. Uh, which, again, if you know anything about neurotropics, it's pretty commonly used. It's in a lot of, uh, it's in a lot of neurotropics like on it by the most common one that will talk to a person in the world, Joe Rogan, Jesus. Um, Anna uses that. So that's, again, a neurotropic found in that. Um, it's also really commonly found in a lot of pre-workouts. Come here, monkey. Come here. Yeah. Come here, monkey. Pause. Look at the kitty. She's adorable. Yeah. But yeah. So again, definitely does recommend um, all these ingredients are very natural. The L-thionine, it's an on it. It promotes uh, a bunch of really good brain activity. It promotes calming. It's well good for your well-being. It, none of these things are bad things. I very highly recommend checking out these 1906 pills for whatever purpose that it may be. Whether it be you just need that extra morning kick in the morning, but you kind of want to still get a little bit of THC and CBD with it to kind of, you know, usually help your pain or whatever it is, or just to get you through the day. If you need that genius like I do, then that's what that is. If you need maybe a little bit more kick in your steps for your love making, they literally, it's literally called love. I mean, who doesn't want that? Ask my girlfriend. She says it's great. Um, she has her card. She bought her own. Uh, the Boost ones, these are just straight THC. So within the Ohio Marketplace, I see they are about 27 milligrams per piece. Again, does recommend. All right, guys. That does it for my review. Let me know what you think. Have a good one.